Hey guys, my name is Ismas. Welcome to another Blender 2.8 tutorial. I hope you had a great Christmas. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately, I couldn't share my meals with you, but uh, let's try it and do something we can share together. So let's, uh, let me change this to UV image so that you can look at what we are going to do today. Uh, maybe it is something we can share together. Yeah, so we're going to make a quick meal here. Uh, uh, fruit and maple oatmeal. Uh, look, you can let me show you the ingredients we're going to be making here. So, if you are at your home, you can just open a blender or open go to your kitchen and uh, yeah, it can we can do this together. We have the ingredients here, uh, we can do it in blender while you are doing it in the kitchen, and uh, yeah, uh, anyway, so the ingredients are oatmeal, uh, diced apples. Uh, raisins and uh, light milk, milk, uh, milk. Uh, so you can uh, go to this McDonald's uh, website. Uh, maybe I will leave a link in the description if you want to look at uh, uh, the image and uh, the ingredients. Uh, but I will have this on my side screen. Let me make sure that this is recording. Good. I will have this on my side screen. And uh, yes, yeah, so we will just be looking at this reference image. So let's dive in and uh, let's start by making this a bowl. Uh, you don't have to do this in your kitchen because I th I'm sure you already have that. Uh, so let's just skip this this step. But uh, for for you guys trying to do this meal in Blender, uh, I guess we have to do this. So let's uh, begin. Hmm, why is this not working? Okay, yeah. So let's begin by making this. Uh, we'll add turn on my shortcuts here so that you can see them at the bottom here. Uh, let's begin by creating a circle. I'll just. Bring it around there. Go to edit mode. Uh, extrude down around there. I would hit Z wireframe. And then scale that around there. Then extrude down like that. Now we can add a loop here. Scale that out. Then Control B to bevel and add more loops. That's I think we can. We need to scale it around there. Maybe move it down a bit, and then Control B to add our loop. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, we have that. Oh, we need to close it down here so that our food doesn't just go through. Uh, so let's uh, extrude in, extrude out. And then match at center. Now this looks a bit thin. We need to give it that body and that thickness. Uh, so for that we can just use a solidify modifier. And uh, let's increase the thickness. And uh, you can also apply the scale and rotation so that these calculations are up. I made a calculated uh, better because uh, there's always an error if you don't apply the scale and rotation. The scale, the rotation can be okay, but uh, the scale needs to be applied. Uh, so this is what we have, but it's still faceted. It's not really smooth as this. Uh, for that, instead of just using more resolution, we'll just add a subdivision surface uh, modifier. And uh, let me, audio is good. Let me make sure this sound is loud enough. Okay, so I hope it is. Uh, so, yeah, you can see we have added a subdivision surface, but uh, it's still uh, faceted. So we can right select the object, right click, and turn on smooth shading. And uh, we need these lines to be uh, this bottom line to be sharp. So we can add a supporting loop here. Control R. Bring that closer, and I think that's good enough. And maybe we can also add one here in the middle of these. What is this? Ah, I see what is going on. So, uh, the sub this solidify modifier, let me first turn off this, uh, is kind of, uh, and the thickness is too big for this here, so it is kind of going through. Uh, what we need to do is, uh, let's, 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 let us reduce the thickness. 
quick turn off turn on okay what else uh we, <coughs> we just need to apply let's see the thickness is still too big so around here let me turn on uh random colors and then cavity so that we can see those edges uh we can apply the solidify modifier this area and uh you can see uh, some of the faces are, are intersecting <coughs> so we can come back here select these inside faces or those ones here uh, because this bow would not be like that it will uh, just a uh, uh, slide it will be shaped uh, just curved off like this but uh, it wouldn't uh, deepen into this it wouldn't go in like that so we can delete the, those faces and now select this loop hit e to extrude and uh, can merge it uh, out m merge in the center <coughs> now if we turn on subdivision surface you can see yeah there is no intersection anymore so yeah we have our bowl done and uh, so let's start creating our spices So I think we can start with the easy things uh, like these uh, diced apples. For those, let me see what can we do. What can we do? What could we do? If can we get away with just creating a cube and then scaling it down at the bottom? And then adding maybe two or three loops two should be enough at, at the bar above here maybe doing that and adding two here and doing that I think that's good enough now we can just turn on smooth shading and also add a subdivision surface uh, but we need to add supporting uh, so we, we need to add supporting uh, loops to maintain the shape so we can just select these loops here then bevel them oh, also need this one control B We don't need that many. I see this is what we have. Yeah, I think we can get away with that. That's, that's good enough. Uh, so yeah, we have our apple slice slices. So we just need to get uh, some apple textures and uh, start distributing around, distributing them around. But uh, you know what, what I'm going to do is uh, Let's first make the different apples and then I uh, will add the textures around data. So I can uh, just get, go into edit mode. Let me first turn off this sub surf. Select one ring like this. You can see the shortcut I'm using here. Then shift D, no, not shift S, shift D to duplicate that ring. I just want the curvature of this, uh, uh, of this ball then uh, P to make it its own object like that then uh, we, we can select everything hit F to fill it with one end gone and uh, let's see uh, should we do that I think we can do that and uh, maybe we can just insert 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 until we have something like this uh, now we're going to use this uh, to, dis to distribute our apples and raisins uh, as particle instances, instant objects on this uh, object. So, but uh, it's too flat, so we can add uh, what 
do we add it's called what is it uh deformer a displacement deformer and uh, we need to create a new texture uh, go inside that texture i change the type to from image to noise not that kind of noise this is too sharp we need we need you know the problem with uh, this way of you see these faces are these rectangles are, are, are looking more like uh, triangles instead of rectangles and uh, the faces are known don't have the same don't have the same the same one the same uh, the, they, they don't have the same area because as the the wire the, the further they are from the center the more uh box the more square like they are but uh, the closer the closer they are uh the more rectangular triangular they look and uh, that is going to affect how our particles are distributed you can also see how it's affecting our um displacement mod modifier so we need to change this into squares uh, so that we have even squares uh, all, all around uh, so that our displacement modifier could work uh, really good so let's uh, and uh, the way to do this we can add a plane shift a plane scale this so that it goes outside the boundaries of our circle then subdivide this let me go to wireframe subdivide this a few times and subdivide this again something like that and now let's turn off this here we can just extrude this down like that and uh, select this object and give it a boolean and then select this as the boolean object and uh, if we hide this you can see we are remaining with our circle uh, so we just need to apply the boolean and uh, delete this circle so you see what we remain with is uh, a circle with perfect squares uh, mostly but uh, the edges can be ignored it doesn't really affect the, the distribution that much if we have uh, edges that uh, edges that are not perfect square is the middle part here that is uh, uh, giving us a lot of problem problems so yeah then we can uh, where are where is the rest of the scene yeah okay it's here so let's just move this up like that let me save uh, let me just create a new Alt meal okay so we just need to go and add um, displacement fire a new texture I turn this to noise you can see the noise is now getting even distribution uh, but that's not the kind of noise we have this is this is too sharp so we need a different type of noise our uh, clouds would be good so you can play around with the different settings size and uh, depth or scale but uh, let's see let's see let's increase this to around there uh, we can then come back to the modifier and reduce the strength And uh, to make this noise even more detailed, you can add a subdivision surface or a multi-resolution modifier. Uh, make sure this is up and then subdivide, subdivide this one, one more time or even twice. I think the strength is still too much, so, <clears throat> so something around there. Turn on, turn on smooth shading so we can have something like that uh, let's unhide everything so this will ha will be our what is this what is this 
let me get the ingredients first I can't find them are they here <coughs> I can't find them anyway there are those seeds I don't I'm not sure I don't remember what they're called uh, but uh, there will be this here uh, so but uh, we're going also we are also going to use this to distribute our raisins and uh, our apples but uh, because we are we already have the apples but not the raisins let's start with the apples so let's go to the particle system add a new particle system change it to here and see we have that and uh, let's reduce these to around uh, 30 and uh, go down to uh, what is it called render uh, change the render as from path to object let me make sure this is recording good uh, then change the object the instance uh, pick the apple you can see we have that uh, let's increase the scale here uh, that is a bit too much something like that you can even distribute these uh, manually uh, because they're not a little pieces even 30 is a lot they're around 10 or something so let's reduce these to 15 and uh, we just need to change the distribution a bit now we need uh, we need to turn on advanced so that we get access to this uh, rotation settings and I change this to let's see normal yeah to normal uh, but randomize that and uh, also randomize the face the face uh, they're too small so we just need to increase the scale let's say one that's too big 0.5 still too big 0.3 still too big now I'm tempted to just distribute this manually instead of yeah let's do that because uh, they're not a lot so let's just get this uh, but uh, for that you see are we uh, let, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I thought maybe I could just do do two copies and uh, give them a different material because you see this, they are red apples and green apples and uh, I thought, my idea was uh, to, to make two copies like this, one red, one, uh, one green, but uh, we can use one and randomize and change the colors, randomize the the, col the colors directly in the material setting so we would have one instance of the apple but uh, create duplicate uh, instances of the material randomize a material col color so let's distribute this so alt D to create an instance not a copy but uh, an instance uh, alt D let's first go to top mode and then distribute them from there See you. Now you just select one, hit R twice to get this gizmo. That lets you rotate these in any direction. You can also bring this down. Alt D to make another instance. Maybe scale that down a bit. See, it's easier than using the particle system uh, because there are few objects. Let's save. Uh, so in part two, we'll we'll work on the risings and uh, also distribute them. And uh, yeah, thank you.